Hard to do with one hand. It's really hard to do with one hand. Right-handed too. Okay, just just a second. I gotta cinch those up. All your seals have to be gas tight. Sealed up now. I think I've got all the leaks stopped up, but the thing is so vigorous that it tends to splash a little bit overboard. Now you really want to put in the least amount of water uh, as you can to get it started, I think. But if your input and output flows from the cup are not about the same, it'll run dry pretty soon. Uh, and on mine I've got a little bit too big uh, output flow. And if it does manage to run dry, then you have to give it a little bit more of a push to get it started again enthusiastically. And I do that just by squeezing the bottom uh, bottle a bit. And let's try to keep it from running dry this time. So the cure to this particular problem uh, would be just to uh, have a little bit smaller uh, drain out the bottom of the cup so that the flow out the top is equal to the flow out the bottom. And that way the cup won't run dry and it won't lose its prime. So I hope you got that. The only reason that I continue to pour water in there is because the drain out the cup is faster than it's actually pumping. So you want to equalize those flows and once you do it'll just sit there and uh, the water level will stay constant in here and it'll pump along input output flows the same. Okay, so the system is actually driven by the difference in the, these two water heads. Water is running from the higher reservoir into the lower reservoir, but it's doing it through this loop up here. Okay, and so as the water drains out of this reservoir, the water in this reservoir goes up. Plus, if you add water, that winds up in here too. So the difference in these heads is what's driving it. And as this difference decreases, ah, I lost the prime again. As that difference decreases, the the uh, the pressure that you attain or the height of this pumping uh, will also go down. All right. 
so the pressure drops a little bit. So obviously if you had really, really big reservoirs, uh, it would run for a really, really, really long time and would be providing usable power up here, right? And I think you can probably see that the height of the water in that reservoir doesn't really go up all that fast. And if this were a big reservoir, uh, with walls that weren't so flexible, you might see the thing run for a long time, and you might think that it was a perpetual water pump. This is Heron's Fountain. It was invented in the first century AD by a guy named Heron. A lot smarter than I am. Thank you for watching.